Well, good morning students. Today I am going to explain you the second endocrine topic. Parathyroid gland. Parathyroid gland is another endocrine gland which is located in thyroid gland. It is a two pairs of gland. They also exist in the form of lobes two pairs of lobes small oval in shape and they are located as two pairs in the thyroid gland itself in this color is yellowish brown here you can see the two pairs of glands two pairs of glands they are small lobes they are found attached in the thyroid gland itself these glands thyroid gland itself they exist in the form of a, two pairs of lobes on the posterior sides here is one pair and here is another pair of loops called as parathyroid glands. They also contain number of parathyroid follicles inside. Anatomically, parathyroid gland resembles thyroid gland. Now these parathyroid glands located in the thyroid gland secretes two different types of hormones namely parathormone and calcitonin these two hormones that have different functions let us see first the functions of parathormone parathormone hormone its action is on three important sites namely skeletal system gastrointestinal tract and in the kidney. In bones or skeletal system, parathormone stimulates the activity of osteocytes. Osteocytes are nothing but the bone cells. They are actually stimulated by parathormone. Function number three, this hormone may release calcium from the bone into the bloodstream. The activity of parathormone is on the bone cells or bones continuously. It releases calcium from the bones. If there is any excess calcium deposited in the bones, released into the bloodstream, therefore, in the blood calcium level will be always maintained. Function number four. Thus, the parathormone makes a skeletal modeling and also controls the blood calcium level. Therefore, the skeleton model or the bone unnecessarily becoming highly thickened or unnecessarily becoming a highly increasing in the diameter or beginning size is being avoided. Fifth function of parathormone is the kidney level. What is this action of the kidney level? At kidney level, it increases the excretion of phosphates because phosphates should not be got accumulated in the body in excess level. Gradually, it is controlled by parathormone and kidney level, it is continuously excreted any excess level of phosphates in the blood. That is controlled by the parathormone at kidney level. By the same parathormone hormone at intestinal level, see, it controls the calcium and the phosphate absorption. So calcium and phosphates absorbed at the kidneys, small intestinal level, is being controlled by the parathormone. When there is a necessity of calcium and phosphates, the parathormone will absorb, makes the small intestine too much of absorption of calcium and phosphates. If there is a, any deficiency, if there is a excess process of calcium and phosphates, the intestinal absorption will be inhibited by the same parathormone. So this is the action done by this parathormone at the intestinal level. 
this hor- the function of a seven it increases the vitamin D synthesis with the help of calcium and phosphorus in the blood. These calcium and phosphorus they are very essential for the synthesis of vitamin D. So it is also controlled by parathormone the presence of calcium and phosphates. Last function of the parathormone it has inhibiting action on bone forming cells. So bone forming cells it is also controlled. Any excess process of bone thickening is controlled by directly on the bone forming cells and bone marrow by help of a parathormone. So these are the eight different functions of the parathormone. Now we concentrate on the functions of calcitonin. Calcitonin is another hormone which do antagonistic action against the parathormone. Which all action is being induced by parathormone will be reduced by the calcitonin. Which all action is being stimulated by parathormone will be prevented by the presence of calcitonin. So they are antagonistic to each other. Calcitonin function, this is a calcium lowering hormone secreted by the parathyroid gland. When in excess presence of calcium in the blood will be lowered or will be decreased by the presence of calcitonin hormone. And another function of the calcitonin is antagonistic in action. Function number three, it inhibits the bone resorption of calcium and phosphate resorption in, in the kidney level. So the, at the bone level, calcium resorption into the in the, in bone formation is, is being prevented. At the same time, at the kidney level, phosphates, calcium, potassium, Reabsorption is also prevented because they are in too much of presence in the body will be very harmful, they have to be excreted. This is controlled by calcitonin, which is released or which will excrete the, this calcium, phosphates and potassium through the urine at kidney level. Fourth function, it decreases the gastric secretion of hydrochloric acid. Excess secretion of hydrochloric acid is also harmful for the, the stomach or the intestinal tract. Therefore, Naturally, calcitonin will decrease the gastrointestinal secretion of hydrochloric acid. Then, last function, it also decreases the insulin and glucagon production. Insulin production in excess or glucagon production is found to be in excess production. Naturally, this calcitonin hormone will suppress the synthesis and secretion of this insulin and glucagon. So, whenever necessary, this is being in action. Naturally, this calcitonin is doing the all opposite action or anti action against this parathormone. Therefore, parathormone and calcitonin is playing a balanced role in that way. It is maintaining mainly the calcium, phosphate, and potassium metabolism in the blood circulation. Therefore, it is a very good another metabolic hormone. Thank you very much.